pertama-tama mungkin saya mengucapkan terima kasih dulu kepada bapak-bapak dan rekan-rekan yang hadir hari ini di tengah kesibukan bapak dan rekan-rekan sekalian tapi tetap hadir di acara kita yang bertemakan Smart, Safe, Autonomous, The Future of Oil and Gas Through OT and IT Synergy. Cukup panjang ya temanya ya. <laughs> Oke, okay, OT and IT sinergi atau yang sering juga disebut dengan OT and IT convergence ya. Uh, jadi belakangan ini ada beberapa customer kita yang memang query ke kita untuk bantu mereka mengimplementasikan apa yang disebut dengan data merging atau penyatuan data ya. Uh, Di mana untuk mendapatkan apa yang disebut dengan holistic approach dalam melakukan monitoring. keseluruhan sistem baik OT maupun IT uh, sistem ya uh, termasuk juga memberikan informasi terhadap bisnis operational jadi memang uh, demandnya ada permintaannya ada dan kalau kita bicara tentang OT and IT convergence ya uh, dalam hal ini Gartner itu melakukan research mereka survei ke 300 leaders around the world Um, yang memang melakukan integrasi OT dan IT. Banyak pertanyaannya, salah satu pertanyaannya adalah uh, apa sih goals atau objektif uh, mereka itu mengimplementasikan atau mengintegrasikan OT dan IT. Dan jawabannya juga banyak, tapi nomor satu adalah uh, mereka mau mengurangi resiko cyber security di OT environment. Yeah. Jadi kita lihat ya bahwa Orang itu mulai aware terhadap resiko cyber security di OT environment. I think next, uh, what I prepared the theme, I think it's glad to be back sharing. I think last year we had a large event from SK Chemicals, I remember, uh, where they share about the vision and there was a specific one day allocated on cyber security. Uh, so I can see there is a lot of digitization going. Uh, so what I prepared the theme is basically Uh, break down the walls is unify the IT and OT because when you're talking about the the industrial cyber security threats they are emerging uh, those threats are not just siloed for OT it has to be integrated there has to be look and totality because all this go back to the operational risk so it's integrated unified IT and OT security so that's basically the core core theme how we'll do that is in a step of few process. We'll walk through what are the, the trends or challenges particularly happen. What are the industry standards uh, in overall IT and OT both, which are uh, quite mature, and then leading to what capabilities required or technology part required, basically core three use cases. So the main part here is that moving from uh, protection base is like not just securing the cyber security part but resiliency uh, resiliency is just beyond protecting the assets it because cyber security threats is like you can protect it but there's always the probability that there will be some breach so how you can recover it faster how you can continue the operation how you detect it so the two major strategies unify the itot and resiliency moving from protection mindset to resilience mindset. So if you are saying the overall oil and gas part, which you all experts here, is we all aware it is very complex value chain. It's a lot of complex automation systems, complex in terms of processes, the workflow, the data, all that. So, but it has a typical nature. It is very complex in terms of the value chain. It is same time modern because some of these automation are very modern but some of them are typically a very proprietary and legacy so that's basically is like you have to balance between very latest modern thing where you may may rolling out the ai use cases but same time you are running some of your assets maybe 20 years old 30 years old assets so that's one common challenge the second part is that the the overall the siloed part like the it part is managed in by some standards in terms of some technologies and OT is followed by some standards and technologies. So this part is like typical challenge in the oil and gas which is a very broad and it has been addressed by different 
uh, industry forums. So what the platform will bring, which is Cisco Cyber Vision, which support most of those industrial OT protocols, it support industrial nature, all the way deep packet inspection. It mainly divided into four portion. It's a Cisco switch itself act as a network sensor. The second part is that it's a hardware sensor we can bring. You can run that on a Docker if you're running on non Cisco switches or uh, another, another network legacy network. Or if it's a very legacy part, still you can do the span if necessary. But our primary portion is, is embedded portion. So this software is embedded in a network. You don't need additional hardware. You don't need a spanning, which overhead to the, to the OT networks. There's a no network performance impact because these OT networks are not designed for gigabytes of traffic. They are very deterministic, very fast QoS oriented networks. And active discovery is required. It is not just about one-time data collection. It has to be active. And sometimes it's past the NAT boundaries because your lot of software has a common IP addressing scheme. So it should take care of all the NATing and all. So these are basically the screens, but I'll not spend time here. We can go down to the demos and do that. So like you can see what end of the night running. It's a Rockwell switch. What exactly connected to the Rockwell switch? What is the CVE score of that? Because you will find hundreds of vulnerabilities. You need to prioritize that. And all those things is a prioritization. You cannot secure every, every kind of patching. You cannot do patching of everything. You need to prioritize it. So if you see this asset inventory, the security posture and communication flow, this is very important. That's define your zones and all. Dari Rockwell, ya, offering kita, kita cukup uh, scalable. Ya. Jadi, uh, kita scalable dan kita enable dari edge. Ya. Jadi bagaimana kita bisa mengintegrasikan antara control system dengan electrical. Ya. Kemudian kita pun ada solusi untuk model predictive control. Kemudian kita bisa mengintegrasikan, karena di OMG ini butuh uh, safety. Ya. Juga bagaimana mengintegrasikan antara proses dan safety. Ya. Kemudian juga bagaimana memanfaatkan uh, edge processing analytic. Jadi analitik itu kadang mindsetnya uh, untuk bisa machine learning ataupun untuk bisa memanfaatkan AI itu harus di cloud. Nah jadi kita pun dari Rockwell punya solusi bagaimana memanfaatkan AI itu dimulai dari edge. Dari perangkat automation. Nah, sehingga benefitnya apa kalau di edge ya. Kalau di edge itu benefit yang pertama adalah respon time cepat. Nah respon time cepat itu untuk apa? Ya untuk mengoptimalkan produk semestinya. Nah tentunya ya produk-produk kami ya. Jadi produk-produk kami uh, tadi di sesi pertama disebutkan mengenai cyber security ya. Nah secara produk ya. Secara produk kami ya uh, kita sudah comply untuk uh, IC 62443 jadi untuk cyber security sendiri secara produknya kita sudah uh, comply kemudian untuk networknya juga desainnya ya sudah juga sudah comply untuk uh, standar uh, IC 62443 seperti itu oke okay. dan kemudian ini salah satu fitur kita yang bagaimana kita bisa mengincris uh, post uh, productivity ya ini mungkin di tempat Bapak Ibu sekalian ada di control room ya itu ada banyak komputer, gitu ya. Tidak ada banyak komputer, kemudian ada banyak PC. Mungkin kalau yang familiarnya dengan nama operator workstation, ya ataupun engineering workstation. Jadi di site ataupun di plan itu bagaimana kita bisa mengoptimalkan, ya, uh, untuk uh, operator workstation ataupun untuk uh, engineering workstation, untuk DCS system ataupun untuk SCADA system, ya. We can check. And to be sure that all the data from OT to IT has been transferred. It's what we call data integrity. How we do, we take all the data from OT, we hash the data, we check error, and we will push the data through the data diode. We are able to do buffering. Buffering, that means we are able to keep the data for a period of time and to send later if necessary. We are able also to do antivirus and to ins install different antivirus on our proxy to check if there is any virus and not to share OTIT problematic. And we are able also to do high availability. It's mainly for a nuclear oil gas company who need to have a redundant installation to avoid any problem. 
that's the whole stack of what we can manage, what kind of uh, subject we can manage with the data diode in your critical infrastructure. We have partnership with many OEM manufacturers, with Cisco, Force Planck, with Rockwell, with Yokogawa, with Aveva, Schneider. We need to work with all those OEM to understand the format of the data and what we have to do. So we manage replication in real time of historian. We manage transfer of alarms and events in real time. Also patch and updates if you need to push data from OT to IT and to update and patch from IT to OT. CCTV feeds, it's more for defense area. Remote screencast and CM integration, it's where we are going to talk about uh, Splunk. So as explained, we work for government, industry, and I will now explain you where do we install the solution. So the main use case for critical infrastructure, it is when you need to synchronize OT to IT raw data for PI or other historian. When you need to synchronize OT IT data for raw files, alarms and event, all that in real time again. When you need because of digital transformation, you need to push now the process data, the OT data to IT for data analytics, for preventive maintenance, for uh, production optimization. You can use a data diode and transfer in real time high volume of data.